SIDS Lighthouse Initiative was launched at the 2014 Climate Summit to seize the momentum provided by the summit to support renewable energy development across small island developing states. Thanks to strong political commitment by SIDS, enabling frameworks and focused technical support, more than 400 megawatts of renewable energy capacity has been installed and over half a billion dollars mobilized in SIDS Lighthouse Initiative partners from 2014 to 2017, three years ahead of schedule. This reflects the strong momentum of renewables development and presents an opportunity to build on this progress further. I'm therefore pleased to announce the launch of the SIDS Lighthouse Initiative 2.0 and to take the energy transformation in SIDS to the next level as a critical pathway to advancing sustainable development and climate resilience. The Lighthouses Initiative has been instrumental in supporting SIT's energy transformation to date. And now is the moment to identify the next steps. To fully succeed in the energy transformation, it was strongly recommended to adopt a holistic approach, extending the focus beyond the power sector to include, for example, transport and e-mobility and energy efficiency. Working together, we will succeed. We also endorse the focus on transportation and uh, other end users, the support for the implementation of nationally determined uh, contributions, enabled access to finance, closer relations with the private sector and reinforcing the multi-sectoral importance of renewable energy on other sectors. Small island developing states are already one of the most vocal groups on the urgent need for climate action, as we all know. Let's now become the most ambitious one in terms of uh, mitigation as well as moving towards our renewable uh, energy efforts. The nature of climate change, the unfamiliar character of the weather systems now. They make the circumstances urgent. While that prompts us to rethink, there are a host of other factors connected to small states which have to be put into the mix. To say small states, small island exceptionalism. I know that there's something called small state exceptionalism and we have to advance this concept in a very serious and thorough manner. Doing nothing is not an option. Acting slow is not an option either. We need to be prepared to challenge ourselves to ramp up ambition so as to mitigate against the actions of climate change. The good news is that the narrative has changed compared to a couple of years ago. It was highlighted that while in the past, renewables were considered a thing of the rich, now it is precisely because of the limited financial and scientific resources that SIDS can only afford renewable energy to relaunch industrialization and economic development. Let these extraordinary events unleash the innovation and creativity of global citizens to speak a new paradigm of green economic development. You need to have that platform to create um, enough space for small islands to be able to have access to partners 
and you can bring the, uh, to the attention of all the partners the issues that the small islands are facing. The only way for every nation to put itself first is to lock arms with all other nations and go forward together. Anything else is self-destructive for the world and for each nation. There is no choice to be made between prosperity and a healthy climate.